What does that have to do with motorcycling? You aim for perfection. Go slow to go fast. Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of The Challenge. Now, as I mentioned last time, I was tasked with going out and meeting other people around the world, other athletes, other sports people, and seeing how their mindset and their approach to tackling challenges and new goals in their particular passion or sport. We're here in Croatia, shooting for the 2020 range of BMW motorcycles, and I met a girl called Yoni Kron. She's a Wushu artist, and if you don't know what Wushu is, you need to check this out. What does that have to do with motorcycling? Uh, let's go find out. So the funny thing is, I actually did wushu myself many years ago when I had short hair and before I could even grow a beard. And I was a little nervous when they told her I had already done some wushu. I didn't want her to expect me to be a lot better than, than in reality I actually was. Wushu summarizes all Chinese martial arts. I'm competing for the national team and I train now five times a week. My goal is it's just to get better. One. When you train a lot, uh, reward naturally comes. If it's if it's a medal, okay, it's nice. But the real reward is you you see yourself getting on a higher level. You be more precise, be more agile, be more flexible. Everything. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> and when you go on the carpet, I don't know what happens, but my mind goes completely calm. Get into a flow. Once you're in it, you, everything goes by itself. And then you train and train and train, and eventually you you will get to that point, and that's actually the, you you aim for perfection. <laughs> Because like this, and but you have to move your body. You always have to move your body. It's not only the hands working or the yeah. knees working. Always the rest of your body as well. So from here, for me, the movements with the stick, everything felt quite yes. awkward, quite forced. And then remembering the, the order of the moves was, was taking every part of brain power I had. With Yoni, the stick is a, an extension of her, and the amount of time and practice and dedication she's put in, the routine is not something she actively thinks her way through. She just flows through, and that parallel between that and motorcycling, where you get that same flow, it was a really powerful thing. And where this became really poignant was actually after Yoni had been teaching me to learn some wushu moves, she was telling me that actually she's doing her bike license at the moment. So we took the opportunity between shoots to find a quiet corner of the factory and do some, some training, give, give Yoni some tips to, to help her on a motorcycle. So we have a little exercise now to understand the weight of the bike and, mm -hmm. and where the balance is. Mm -hmm. If you get the bike upright and balanced, it weighs nothing. It's super light. Mm -hmm. When it's here, mm -hmm. that's when it starts to be heavy. The same as you hold the stick in the balance position, mm -hmm. you want to try and keep the bike in the balance mm -hmm. position. So what I want you to do is I want you to walk all the way around the bike now, holding it only with your fingertips. If it falls, you catch it? It will not fall. I have faith. Everything we do with the bike, we're trying to keep it in this nice, light, balanced position. That's what we're looking for. Don't stand too close. OK, now your challenge. Yeah from where you are to the handlebars in one move. Like so, really fast, Yeah, right? if you get the bike balance, you don't need to go fast. So get it so it's absolutely weightless, so you're not using any effort at all, like you would balance your stuff. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you got the horn and everything. As we finished up, we, we left it at, at Yoni kind of riding the bike, and she asked me for maybe two or three important tips that she could then go away and, and practice on her own bike. And it's stuff that I've always worked on, and, and I've kind of made an effort to get better at over the years. So tip one, go slow to go fast. As we can see with Yoni here, going slow might look easy, but anyone who's ridden a bike will realize that slow riding is one of the kind of hardest areas of control. Yes, awesome. The better you get at slow control, the better you get at balancing the bike at low speeds, the more control you have when you're going faster. So first up, work on that clutch. 
real fine control and get a feeling for that bite point on the clutch, you can ride a bike using no throttle and doing everything on the clutch. Now point two, that's vision. Something about the human body means that when you look somewhere, you nearly always end up there. Using your vision on a fast turn or whether it's a small tight slalom or a flowing road, looking to where you want to be will always help your body and your bike get in the right position to end up there. Maybe if your confidence takes a knock, your eyes drop down and suddenly that, that nice flow, everything happens too quickly. So really, really concentrate on using positive exercises to make your vision work looking where you want to be. Point three, be happy on your bike. The more relaxed you are, the better your body lets the bike do what it needs to do, and the better your brain lets your body do what it needs to do. Don't go for a ride when you're angry or stressed. Try and be in a good mood before you get on the bike, and you'll find that everything flows better, and you enjoy yourself more. And that leads on to my final little point. Play around, goof about on your bike. This might just be jumping on while the side stands down. It might be just doing a little hop with the back wheel at the edge of the road. These little kind of tricks and maneuvers don't look like much, but they all help build up your riding skill and improve your riding ability as a whole. So I'm off now to find the next person, the next athlete, the next sports person, to see what it is that makes their mind tick and how that mindset fits in to never stop challenging. See you next time.